Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Andre Ruddock, the congregant of the Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in Montego Bay, St. James, charged with the murder of another, has been remanded until November 3. By that time, his legal team should be settled. Ruddock made his first appearance in the Home Circuit Court in Kingston this morning. And some 39 congregants who were arrested in a police crackdown at the Pathways International during the October 17 ritual were today fined for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act. They appeared before the St. James Parish Court, where they were each fined $30,000 or ordered to serve 20 days in prison. New fraud charges have been laid against former Petrojam General Manager Floyd Grinley and former Chairman Dr. Percival Bahadusing. Grinley's previous charges of eight counts of aiding and abetting obtaining money by false pretense and Bahadusing's 12 charges have been laid on file, meaning they could be reinstated later. The National COVID-19 Vaccination Operationalization Task Force is proposing that vaccination or testing program for nurses and other healthcare workers be implemented to safeguard lives. With the exception of the Jamaica Defense Force soldiers, frontline workers continue to have a very low vaccination take-up rate. In sports, football club Barcelona has fired Ronald Koeman as first team coach. The embattled Dutch was informed by club president Joan Laporta following a 1-0 defeat against Raya Vallencona earlier today in the La Liga competition. In your currency trading today, it was costing $155.28 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $213.04, and the Canadian dollar for $129.81. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers and thunderstorms across sections of hilly inland areas and western parishes. Otherwise, it will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.